thank you for your time. Um, you 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 run Art for Play, um, which is a different type of hen's party. <laughs> so <laughs> something with a twist. <laughs> so thanks for your time today. We'll just um, run through some questions with you. What inspired you to begin this? Um, I'd actually had a topless waitering service called Hire a Hunk since 2004. Um, you know, we were doing butlers, chauffeurs, waiters, that sort of stuff. Um, and I really thought there was, there was a, I suppose, a gap in the hen's party market. So what I did, I, I looked around for things to do and I saw there wasn't much besides boat cruises and things that were tacky. So my girlfriends and I actually sat down and thought, what would we like to do? And we actually invented art for play. It was it was a couple of it was after a, bottle, a couple of bottles of wine, but it was um yeah, it was fun to create and we loved it. Um, since that, it's just it's grown to something that we're really proud of, and now we trade nationally, and yeah, we love it. Ah, oh, excellent! It looks like lots of fun. <laughs> 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 oh, so so far, what's your biggest challenge been in um, your business, and how have you overcome it? Um, I suppose the biggest challenge for us has been um, not so much competition, but just people trying to copy us. Mm -hmm. um, see, we've got a good concept and people like jump on the bandwagon. So I suppose having to reinvent what we do and really strive to be the market leader all the time, I mean, not that that's hard, but um, just try and keep fresh and, and keep funky and, uh, yeah, that's, that's the thing that we struggle with. Yeah, yeah. And so what motivates you then? What motivates me? Oh, my God, that, that's easy. <laughs> Um, I I do, ooh, I don't know, 5,000 hens parties a year. I mean, we do hens, bucks, well, not so much bucks anymore, hens, bucks, divorce, kitchen teas and baby showers. So I get to deal with girls that are having the most amazing event of their life and I get to facilitate that for them. So, I mean, the feedback that I get from women on a Monday morning is, I mean, it's really good for my soul. Oh, <laughs> that sounds <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. So if you had to start... Um, any of your businesses, again, from scratch, what would you do differently? <laughs> well, there's so many things that I would do differently. However, over the past, you know, what, since 2004, that's a lot of years, there's, there's been so many learning curves. Um, I think that I would have more of a structure in place. I suppose I've, I've been a little bit ad hoc at the way I've done it. I've sort of built things and then filled in the gaps behind. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I would be more structured in the way that I would do things. Okay. However, that's not my that's not me at all. There's no structure to me. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's worked pretty well the way you've done. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's fine. Now, what living person do you admire most, and what is oh, that's easy. Tony most? Robbins. Tony Robbins. He is my guru. Um, he's the way he looks at life and the motivation that that he gives the people around him and the things that he does for the world are just phenomenal and I absolutely would aspire to be somewhat like him. Lovely. What what are your distinctive qualities? Uh, my passion, uh, my frustration at times, <laughs> my dedication to to what we do and and the services that we provide. Um, yeah, and definitely the love that I give others. They're yeah. they're qualities. Yeah. <laughs> what five things could you not live without? Um, music, my partner, he's a godsend, I don't know how he puts up with me at times. Uh, my dog, Amani, who's sitting over here in, in the office. <laughs> <laughs> office. Um, well, that's, that's three. Um, food, I love food. Um, wow, that's four, I'm stuck. Probably my family. <laughs> my family really put, are an important part of my life and they give me a lot of support, so... Yeah, my friends and my family. Excellent. And um, what's your favourite phrase or quote? Ah, that's easy. I actually printed it out for you. Oh, yay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> How good is that? I, I pulled it off the wall and I thought I'd give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> worries. It's true. It's not, it's not about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. You know, you're a work of art and you that's work on yourself constantly. I love that. So um, what top three tips would you give to people? Apart support yourself. <laughs> what was that? Apart from that one. <laughs> sure. Um, support yourself with the right people. Make sure you've got the best advice that you can and always ask questions. Excellent. Um, so now share, share with us. Tell us something about yourself and what you do and where we can find you. Sure. Listen, you can find us at www.artforplay which is A-R-T, the number four, P-L-A-Y dot com dot uh, You know, obviously we cater for hens, bucks, divorce, 
corporate team building. We provide quality services with life drawings. So there's an amazing male nude um, and a really good time. Excellent. I can guarantee that you'll love anything that we do. Beautiful. Well, I'll actually um, pop a link at the end of this interview as well so That'd people can great. check it out. Um, I highly advise you all check it out. It's great stuff. Thank <laughs> you so much for your time. No worries. <laughs> okay, bye. See ya.